Hey YouTube, I, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I wanted to get on here and kind of, you know, uh, give you what my next project is. Um, had some birthday parties last weekend, wasn't able to do any videos or much, many uh, projects or chores, so, um, and uh, just, uh, I'm sick of winter, I'm ready for it to be spring. Um, today's not too bad, we got sunshine and I got uh, um, producing about 560 watts right now, but anyway, uh, show you what I got going on and uh, what's coming up. Now, what I did was ordered a power jack inverter uh, from eBay, and uh, it's going to be here on Tuesday at some point. So I'm rewiring the system here, kind of making room, adjusting my uh, control board to make room for it. Now, I know it's a it's a Chinese inverter, it's a Taiwan parts, so on and so forth. But it's going to fit my bill for a short period of time, and uh, it'll get me through until I can afford the Outback inverter that I want. It'll, um, um, and also, you know, I, I'm going to expand my system. I'm going to increase the voltage and so on and so forth. But just like anybody, you got to build it with what you got when you got it. And what I found out was that I'm basically running my refrigerator off the system nonstop, plus whatever else I can find. Like for example, yesterday. Uh, plug the crock pot into the, to the to the same plug that the refrigerator's in. I, I I just have more power than I can use. So um, I cooked supper yesterday on the electric or on the solar. Uh, run the refrigerator on the solar. The shed's powered off the solar, and my batteries are running uh, for the most part um, at uh, at float uh, during the day. Now, for example, like right now, it's uh, what time is it? It's uh, it's 11:30, and um, the, obviously, the, 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 I ran the um, crock pot off the system yesterday. Refrigerator ran all night. I came in and I was only at like 12.5 volts. So I, I hardly used any electricity out of the batteries. And right now, um, I'm, the refrigerator's running and I'm drawing 178, well, there's 182 watts off the system. I'm producing 560. My voltage is uh, at 13.3. At and I bet you if I shut the whole system down, I'd probably be, uh, um, you know, we're basically fully charged. This is going to go up to 14.4, go from bulk to absorb at 14.4, and then uh, kick down to uh, absorb, uh, uh, float, which is uh, 13. I now have that adjusted to 13.4 uh, volts. But, uh, you know, probably by uh, 12 o'clock, she's going to be fully charged. And that's what I found that's been happening. By noon on a sunny day, batteries are fully charged, and I'm wasting the rest of the day with not putting that power anywhere. So, I'm getting a power jack 1200, and I'm going to put it right there. And the feed that I have coming off of here, going into the back feeding into the shed which is in turn back feeding into the house uh, is going to be I'm gonna undo the the fridge and the shed in the uh, breaker panel in the house wire them back up the way they're supposed to be and then I'll just feed I'll just feed the power directly into that plug and then I can use it in the shed I can use it in the house and whatever else um, and uh, I'll still have this all set up uh, for out here um, the, the other thing that I'm going to do is, okay, a, a lot of people will have like a battery switch, which I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't ordered one yet, but uh, uh, you, you have to divert your, you have to divert your, your panel power, um, you know, somewhere. Either it goes to the charge controller to go to the batteries, or you um, send it to the charge controller with, a, you know, typically a, uh, like a blue C switch or something like that. A, um, double bank battery switch but what I'm going to do because this is what I had laying around is I've got three-way switches here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my uh, panels uh, into here into the common and then one off of here will go down to the breaker here to go into the charge controller or if I flip it up it'll come off the other wire and then go into the grid tie inverter now I will have to uh, do some type of fusing between here and the grid tie inverter um, or uh, I may do something else like this 
if I have four switches set up, what I may do is go get four more breakers. One, two, three, four. And then, because notice I have these set every other one, and they're all going to this bus bar right here. I can have the other four go to this bus bar, and then I could feed that one common up to the uh, grid tie inverter, which is probably the way I'm going to go because I have to fuse it anyway. So what I can do is I'll I'll route all my wires into here. I already said what I'm going to do, so why repeat myself? Um, uh, so four of them will be for the charge controller. Four will be for the grid tie inverter, and then I can just you know I, I can leave them all on and just say okay down is uh, we'll say down is uh, um, um, charge controller and and up is uh, grid tie that way I maybe I want three of them to go to the grid tie but I want one to go to the um, um, what am I trying to say um, I don't know whatever so you know I can I can have some go to the grid tie and one go to the charge controller but the uh, I wish I had a bigger box here because I've uh, I've got four of the 230 watt panels. I've got two sets of the of the uh, Harbor Freight, and then I've got the panels that I made myself. So um, I re realistically could use some more fusing and some more options here, but um, I don't know. Well, it, it'll play it by ear and see how it goes. See what happens. Um, I possibly could take the the, uh, the Harbor Freights and wire them back into these guys, and and send them down. Uh, 12 volts, so I could do something like that too. But anyway, grid tie power, grid tie inverter is going to go there. Um, that'll probably come off the wall. I might need room for that. Um, I also I moved this today. I took my battery chargers for the drills down. I moved this over a little bit. I was trying to make some room for this, my little iPod and radio thing here, because it was sitting way out here. And so I got that slid back now, made a little bit more room for it. Just trying to tidy things up. All right, well, that's uh, that's what's to come. I'll be doing a video uh, next week when I get that in and, and, and hooking it up and testing it out. Uh, I think uh, I may work on uh, getting getting that fused today, um, cleaning up some of these wires and um, that sort of thing. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a good day, and uh, you know, don't 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 holler at me too bad for getting a Chinese inverter, um, but. Uh, uh, I need to do something because I'm, I'm wasting too much energy here. It's just going nowhere, and I want to put it to use as, as soon as I can. I think I'll uh, uh, recoup my money back in the time it's going to take me to get the rest of the system built. So, All right, until next time, take it easy. Thanks for watching.